Good morning, everybody. Welcome back. Leone, how you doing? How's it going? Good morning, good morning. Welcome back. Leone, how you doing? Let's turn that off. There we go. Oh, there we are. Excellent. Well, hi, everybody. I hope you're all having a great day. Ready for a little long dark? A little Stellaris this afternoon. Lots of good stuff going on. I'm a little tired. I did get out and drive, and I went and worked out afterwards this morning for about an hour. So I'm a little, woo! Uh, but hey, we're going to get back into our mapping run. We started our Endless Night last yesterday. And we're going to be doing Endless Night and our mapping run like every other day. So we'll have more of the Endless Night. We're on day five in the Endless Night. But um, we're going to continue that one tomorrow. Right now, we're going to get back into our mapping run. We are pretty much done in Blackrock at this point. Blackrock, we have pretty much mapped up everything in Blackrock that we want. We now need to travel back to the prison, gather our stuff up, bring it down to the substation, and then from there, we'll go into Keeper's Pass north and south. So that's, that's what we're going to be doing now. Uh, let's pick that up real quick. I think we are... Now we are down in the bottom of the canyon right now. There's our crappy bow. We'll get that out. Now we do have a bunch of coal here, so I'm going to take a bunch of this coal with me. Because why not? All right, um, I do have a few sticks with me. I'm gonna grab that reclaimed wood. I'm not sure I can. I'm gonna take as much of this fuel as we possibly can. All right, that's that's good enough. Hey, Tegeta, hello, hello, how are ya? Sugar Slam, how's it going? Good morning. Yeah, my first shot was a little bit over. Second shot did exactly what it's supposed to. And took that little puppy dog out. Booyah. But Sugar Slam, I hope you're having a great day. I hope you're having a good day as well, Tegeta. Uh, Leone Lo. I hope you're having a good one, too. Leone Lou. <clears throat> Looking to be a sunny day in Washington. Yeah, it's supposed to be nice here today, too. It's supposed to be sunny and 67 today. Holy crud, 67. And that is not an April Fool's joke. Tomorrow's supposed to be 71. I think that's our first above 70 day this year, but I'm not sure. Then it's going back into the 50s for Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. But yeah, it's supposed to be nice. You know, Tegeta, I'm doing good. We uh, we started a new run yesterday. Um, it's our Endless Night Gunloper run. <clears throat> we started that yesterday. That's up on YouTube right now. And then we're going to be doing that every other day. So every other day we're doing Endless Night. And then we're go going back into our mapping run uh, until we get the mapping run done. So... But uh, it's all on the schedule. You can go look at the schedule. It's all there. I, I posted up the schedule. I posted up the schedule over on the on the Twitch side, and I made it. I made a. I put a Twitter a tweet out about it as well. But we got our mapping still to do, and then we're gonna be uh, we're gonna be going back to Endless Night tomorrow, and we're just gonna kind of swap them off every other day. That way, people will get a little Endless Night and a little regular stuff. No, the, the Gunloper, Endless Night Gunloper is going to be on Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. Or no, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Fridays, excuse me. So Sunday, Tuesday, Friday is going to be Endless Night. Monday, Thursday, and Saturday is just going to be our regular run. Yes, this is the mapping run still, yep. This is our mapping run that we're 500 and... What is it, 500 and... 16 days into now. <laughs> 
Uh, you know, Pizza, we already, we've already been through, we've already been through the, the, we're actually on our way out of this zone. We've done everything we came here for. We mapped it. We got all the major landmarks. We're taking everything down to here and dumping it off at the substation. And then we're going to go, we're, we're going to dump what we have on us at the substation. And then we're going to go back to the jail or the prison, grab our gear there. And then we will be heading out of the zone into Keeper's Pass, north and south. And then we'll be heading over to finish up Signal Void and Buried Echoes. The only zone we have left to map at this point, other than Keeper's Pass, north and south, which we'll kind of do a cursory map of as we go through them, um, the only zone we really have to map at this point is Zone of Contamination. That's it. That is it. I was in a cave in the airfield, went to map, and the next thing I know, a bear, did, bear attacked me. Were you in the cave that's uh, sort of out from where the helicopter crashes? Because that's where the bear likes to hang out. He, he likes you out there. But it may have been, oh, it may have been the one on the lake. You were probably, were you in the cave on the lake? Because there is a bear that prowls around that cave, too. Yeah, the, the, yeah, you don't, you don't want, you want to be careful. If you're gonna map in a cave, you probably want to get a fire started, because you never know when the bear will come to say hi. Oh, and then you had to get back in a blizzard. Oh, jeez. Oh my. Some funny, strange things are happening to me on my current run. What's happening, Tegeta? That's so, that are so strange. I don't know if we'll have doggos over here or not. Because we killed most of the dogs over here, but they may appear again. Who knows? <laughs> really, you little turd. You ran away with my stuff, bro. Bro, come back here. You ran away with my arrow, you little jerk. During an aurora, the wolves will attack you in areas that they normally would not go. Yeah, aurora wolves are a little bit sketchy. Let's just put it that way. Aurora wolves don't play by the rules. My taters. Whoa, what the heck just happened? No, don't go back that way. Some stopped cooking by themselves. Some got out of the pot and were floating above the stove. Yeah, you better run away, doggo. Oh, there's two of them. Now there's one of them. Give me my stuff. Hey, look, you killed it. Thank you. Thank you for the deer. I appreciate it. Five hundred days without seeing another human being would drive most people mad, even with survival first and foremost. Yes, they do by their own rules. Yeah, the, uh, the, uh... Hello. 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 But yeah, take it. I usually try to avoid the Aurora animals. They're still, in my opinion, they're still pretty broken. They do the best they can with them, but they don't really work that well, to be honest.
I wish they did work better, but they just don't. I figured we might as well get some more meat. Why not? Timberwolves being Timberwolves. I need to drop something. Timberwolves already always always will be Timberwolves, that is for sure. Timbies being Timbies. But yeah, Aurora Timberwolves are bad, but every wolf in the every wolf in a uh, in a uh, blizzard in a Aurora is pretty bad. They will eat you alive. Well, they'll nip at you while they'll nip at you, Pizza Plaza. That's for sure. Nip, 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 nip. All right, let's go ahead and throw that on there. Throw that on there. Yeah, the Timberwolves don't necessarily eat you. They just nip at you. Okay, Ramoyne, uh, go take care of your stuff, and we'll see you when you get back, my friend. I make a bet. I, I make a bet. A lot of a, bo a lot of death in Aurora's by players. Oh yeah. But most, uh, you know, there's a lot of deaths that have been caused by Aurora animals. I'm sure. A lot of Aurora deaths, unfortunately. They claim a lot of a lot of people. Shush by, shush by there, my friend. You're not you're not that heavy. You big baby. Drink that down just so we just have a nice little warm up for us. Can't run right now, but that's okay. If it, uh, anyone made it to 500 days, how many? Uh, how many percent on interloper? Um, it's pretty. I mean. Getting the 500-day achievement itself is a pretty low percentage most of the time. Um, I think, let's see. Let's see. Do, 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 all the achievements. Feels like a lot of gear. Uh, surviving 500 days in a single survival mode, 1.1% 1 .1 of, of players have, have, have achieved that. So I would guess that probably less than less than 0.5% of people have achieved it on Interloper. Because I would imagine most of those people did it on... Did, the, most of those people probably did it on Stalker, Voyager, or Pilgrim. Would be my guess. And I don't blame them at all. It's crazy how many people haven't done a lot of the stuff.
Faithful cartographer as well is 1.1%. That's crazy. It's weird though, because challenge mastery is at 1.5%. So there must have been people who got the challenge mastery before getting some of the other stuff was needed or something. I don't know. That's very weird. I don't know. I don't know how cuz challenge mastery is complete every challenge. So how can challenge mastery have a greater percentage done than both faithful cartographer and the will to live? Excuse me? Oh, hi puppy doggy. What are you doing in there? What are you doing in there? Oh, challenge mastery doesn't include all the challenges. Oh, well, that makes sense. All right, let's drop the fresh hide, fresh guts. What I'd really like to get is an Aurora. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and build a fire out here. Too heavy. And craft a few more arrows because I think I have... Or not craft arrows. Yeah, just make a few more arrows because I think I can. Um, I have those that I need to break down. I know Dark Walker isn't part of it, but I was surprised to find that uh, As the Dead Sleep wasn't either. Oh, that's interesting. Honestly, it's the terrain. You have to know the map. I have to admit, I get totally lost in uh, Mystery Lake and Heavy Fog. Couldn't find the damn railway line. Need more detailed map knowledge. Uh, you know, Mystery Lake has a lot of weird spots in it. That it's very easy to kind of double back into and kind of get lost in it. It is a very easy one to get lost in, believe me. All right, what do we got in here? We got the deer hide. The guts and those hides. Okay, we'll grab that. Get my toolkit. Get my jerry can. Let's fill that sucker up. All right, that jerry can is actually really super light, so I might just hang on to that. That's great to have a light jerry can like that. Is it actually warm here? It's a little bit cold. A teensy bit cold. Actually, let's do the arrow shafts till we can't. Till we, till, till we get too cold to do them anymore. But yeah, there's certain places in Mystery Lake that do get a little bit confusing. Uh, for sure. I'm not surprised to get a, that you got lost in a, in a fog there because I have too. I even still get lost in Mystery Lake in a fog. The clear-cut area, yeah. Get a lot colder soon. The clear, the clear-cut area is actually pretty easy to get lost in because there's so many, there's so many weird, there's so many places that have hills and and just have it's just wide open. That that's the hardest. That's the hardest places in Long Dark to get around in in a fog or a blizzard, is the big wide open areas because they're very easy to get turned around in, and even if you even if you deviate by just a little, to, even if you are like. Walking in a straight line, and you turn, you just turn like that. You turn it all while you're doing that, and it's very easy to get your get yourself turned around super quick. It's very easy to lose your way because all of a sudden, yeah, you're just walking in circles. Yes, yeah, Pleasant Valley in a blizzard in the open areas. Yes, it's the best feeling to find your own tracks while lost in the fog. <laughs> You're like, hey, look, that was me. I was here already. He 
Yep, I've done that before. Hey, Vavella, how you doing? Wait and see, how are you, Grandmother G? Welcome in. Gonna get caught up on everybody here. Hi, 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 hi. We're hi, 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 hi. Well, not really, but we'll say we are just for the sake of argument. Some said it would be funny to see a heat map showing how you traverse the maps. Well, um, uh, Zach, Zach, uh, Style Zach actually had a, actually had a thing that showed your path. Actually showed your path that you took when you were traveling around the map. It was pretty wild. I was like, dang, that's pretty, that's pretty freaking cool. You're not finished with the, well, yesterday's episode has, Bavella is uh, completely separate from this one. Yesterday's episode was our Endless Night episode. And uh, so, yeah, this episode is actually specifically not the episode we did. It has nothing to do with yesterday's episode at all. Believe it or not. But yes, the Endless Night Run started yesterday, boys and girls, and we'll be doing the Endless Night Run every other day. So basically, we'll be doing our long mapping run on Mondays, Thursday, and Saturday. And Endless Night will be on Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday. So, we've got, we've got two separate runs going right now. We just started the Endless Night Gunloper yesterday. And I am stoked to play it. It's so cool. We're only five days into it. And it has been a wild freaking ride so far. A wild ride. Oh my god. It's not a spoiler because you'll see it very quickly, but... Just to give you an idea, we spawned in Mystery Lake. Which, Mystery Lake is like one of the few zones that does not have, like, matches that I... That are like guaranteed. <laughs> so it was a little, it was a little bit of struggle bus, a little struggle bus there. Not gonna lie. I'm gonna need to rest soon. But a fun struggle bus, but a fun, fun one. So. And it's not that I'm bored with this run or anything. I just wanted to do something a little different. Have a, have a little fun with another run. Have some fun with another run. How did I make water without matches? Um, I, 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 basically pizza. You'll have to watch it and see. No, uh, I found, I, I went to Forlorn Muskeg and got the flare inside of the, uh, the poacher's camp. And with the flare, we basically torch walked for the next, like, two and a half days. <laughs> Believe me, I made that I made that freaking one flare pizza. I made that freaking one flare last as long as I possibly could. That was a that was a very a very well used flare by the time we were done. Cuz we torch walked the heck out of everything. Ugh. Oh yeah, well that that's the thing is like flares are great early in the game, especially because they're they're basically free matches. You basically have a free match when you find a flare. I think we might as well cook these while we're here. I'll have to go watch that walk. Oh, it was cra it was crazy. It was it was nutty. I was I was actually really surprised, Grandmother G, that we were able to go as long as we did. Uh, we we didn't we didn't run into any bad blizzards or anything like that. All right, got some water in us. Can you make a stalker start without matches? Well, you always get matches in stalker. Whenever, whenever you start a stalker run, you always get some matches right away. We have a full, we have a full container of rose hip tea. That is hilarious. There's some birch bark. 
There's our coffees. That one's empty. And that one has my my herbal teas in it. Got a couple coffees up here too. partially hot. It's not going to stay hot for very long, but it's partially hot. Hey, hey, hey how's it going, Miss Honeypot? 500 rosehip teas? Well, we, we only have 80 in here. There's, there's, on, there's only 80 rosehip teas here. <laughs> That means I can just drink these. Ooh. That means I can I can just drink these ones down. I don't need to save them. Yeah, today I'm, I'm a little bit on the tired side. It could be more. Yes, it 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 could it actually could be more. Uh, yeah, let's open up the coffee again. Bam! I've got cooking for on day thir day thirty three. Nice, yeah, that is very nice. You know, it's so funny because getting to cooking four is not is not that bad, but getting to cooking five takes you just about as long as it did from getting cooking one to th one to four. Getting from four to five is just about the same amount of time, as far as like you know, it just it just it just seems to take so long. Why am I tired? Well, I went out, I got up at midnight, and I drove till 7, and then I went to the gym uh, from 7 to 8, and worked out, and then I came back home. And I got things ready to go, and now I am streaming. But yeah, the number of combines you need from one to level 1 to 4 is about the same amount you need for, to get from 4 to 5. So basically, you're getting from 1 to 4 all over again. I had a very early day. I, I actually woke up about 11.30. I went to bed kind of early last night. Woke up at 11.30. And uh, and then I just kind of... I got up, took a shower, got ready to go. And then I, then I got out and started driving about 12.30. And uh, it wasn't super busy last night. It was okay. Oh, but then I went and worked out for an hour. Whew. Got arm day in, and then I did about 40 minutes on the treadmill. Which kind of tuckered me out a little bit. Alright, let's get some sleep. So yeah, I got, got some arm day in, and then I did some treadmill work, and... Whew. But you know the good news is I've noticed my cardio my cardio and my breathing's going a lot better now. I'm not as tired out, you know, when I'm doing stuff, which is great. Which is freaking awesome. I love it. Actually, let's just move everything into our inventory. And then we'll take a look and see what we want to leave here. So we're going to leave some guts for sure. What's my Travoy? Uh Travoy is at what? Oh, wait, did I leave it behind? I think I left it behind. I think I left it down there. Um, let's leave some scrap metal for sure. I haven't been dropping. I haven't dropped a lot of weight yet. I've only been. I've only been working out for a couple of weeks, so it didn't. It didn't take me a couple of weeks to put on the extra twenty-eight pounds that I'm carrying, or twenty-five pounds that I'm carrying around. So it ain't gonna come off in a couple of weeks either. <laughs> but um, you know, I'm just, I'm just, you know, I'm not, I'm not really worried about that as much. I know that that'll happen eventually. I'm, I'm more just trying to like get my cardio back going good, 
and you know just fe just feeling better is, is my main goal right now you know just fe just feeling not as tired feeling you know having more energy yeah and that's the thing it's i mean this is a long-term thing i'm gonna get into and I'm, I'm sure you know i you know when i started out uh you know a couple weeks ago i could barely do 20 minutes on the treadmill and now now i'm able to get it to an in I, and i was only on like an incline of five and maybe going at about two and a half speed and now i'm up to going on an incline of 10 and getting my and get, going up to about a three speed and then i'm able to get my heart rate going up to around 135 or so i'm getting my beach body ready yeah because everybody everybody wants to see that trust me nobody wants to see that if i if i get down to 200 i'll get my speedo out <laughs> Not gonna, not gonna wear it. I'll just get it out. Hey, if I, if I could draw, I'm at, I'm at about 228 right now. 227, 228. If I can get down to 205, I will be very, very, very happy. Very happy. That's sort of my goal is to get down to about 205 if I can. Okay, let's see what we got on us. What we want us, what we want to leave here. Boopity boopity boo. You can show show us just hold it uh, hold it up to the camera. I tried to do moderate exercise and I've been trying to prioritize sleep. That really got got out of hand for me. Yeah, that, I mean it's it's just a combo. It's a combo for me, grandmother G. It's a combo of a lot of stuff. It's a combo of you know all the stuff I'm doing now is mainly sitting. I sit to do lift. I sit to I sit to stream. I sit to do videos. I sit to edit stuff. I, I I'm pretty much sitting all the time, and so for over the last year, I haven't been doing any sort of exercise or anything like that, and so my body's like slowly turning into dough. And it was even getting to the point where it like hurt to walk down. You know, my knees would hurt walking down the stairs, which was like. The first sign of it, uh, I need to get some crap taken care of because this is not good. If I want to get down on that to that weight, I have to chop off a leg. Well, two, 205 is where I feel comfortable. I've always been a bigger guy. I mean, I've always, I've always been husky. You, you know, I, I haven't, I haven't seen under 200 since I was like 18. I think when I was 18, that's the last time I was under 200. I've always been, I've always been a little bit of a bigger dude, but you know, my diet's pretty much the same as it's always been. Fa uh, you know, faces, my diet's pretty much the same as it's always been. I've never, I've never really had a big problem with diet stuff. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm six foot, so I've never, I've never had, I've never been like, I mean, I did go through a phase in my thir in my early 30s where I was eating way too much fast food. But that's the funny thing. Now that, it, see, that's the thing too, is like, before I started streaming and doing Lyft all the time, my diet was actually kind of crappy. I was eating fast food a few times a week. I'd order out. Now pretty much everything I eat, I make here at home. And it's mostly like sandwiches and soup and, you know, and, and, and uh, and and some pasta or you know it's just all stuff that i'm making now so for me it's not like it's not yeah it's it's not it's not like i've ever really had a, a horrible diet recently it's just that i'm not you know i'm not moving around so all the food i'm eating is just going right down here and just sitting there so it's good it's, it's nice to get back in the gym and kind of feel a little healthier these days and you know, and, and I have never, I have never been a workout bro or anything like that. That has never been my thing. Um, this is the first time I've been in a gym in 25 plus years, probably 20, 20, 25 years at least. Well, and I'm also cutting out and see, that's the other thing, Tay Geta. I've cut out sodas from my diet. I have no soda in the house anymore at all. If I have any soda anymore, it, you know, it's if I go out to eat or something like that, I may have one soda or something. Um, 
Have I tried keto? Nah, I don't go. I don't go in for diets. <laughs> I don't do. I don't do the diet stuff. I've. I've never. I've. Ne I just. I. I. I know. I know myself too well. Faces. I don't have the. I don't have the self control to do it. I. I don't. I do not have the self control to do it. So I just. I just don't. I don't. I'm just like. Yeah. I'm good. I don't. I don't ever. I don't ever eat a lot of stuff though. That's the thing. Is I. I never. I never gorge myself. I mean, I've cut out pretty much all... I, I pretty much cut out all the sodas. The sodas were my big weakness. The sodas and the sugary drinks were my big weakness. And I've cut out most of those. To the very... To, you know, I don't... I, I was I was down in three, four sodas a week. Or three, four sodas a day. A day. Whoa, Jesus Christ. Bro, do you even live... Dude, I, the gym's like over there. And sometimes it's over there. Maybe if I go that direction, I can find it. <laughs> but for me, but for me, the food consumption has never been the problem. It's the exercise part. It's the exercise part that's always been my struggle. And it used to not be a struggle because I was always up and moving around and doing things and working and, you know, it just naturally I was physically active. But now that I'm not physically active anymore, now it's now it's become an issue <laughs> that I have to deal with. So, so that's why I'm back in the gym just doing my stuff. Bro, do you even lift? Yes, I do. I do lift, bro. Have you lost your parole? Are you, are you back in Black Rock to finish your time? Yes. Well, that and age, Mrs. Honeypot. That that and age. Age is the age is the main thing that's catching up to me. It's a lot harder at 50, 50 almost 54 to cut down on things and um and 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 like get back in shape than it was when I was, you know, 30 or even 40. It's a lot harder now to do it. All right, I think, is the wolf up there? Oh, no, that's that wolf there. I already got the arrow there. Yeah, I rarely do soda. I, I do eat oatmeal most mornings, just quick cooking and lowered my LDL uh, uh, something 55 points in seven months. I'm 66, though. Yeah, well, you know, and that's the thing, Grandmother G, is the older we get, we just got we just got to take it a little easier. And yeah, in, in moderation, that's the thing, is you... I've I've always I've always been that way in my life is that in moderation you can do pretty much anything as long as you do it in moderation and you know there's some things that I've never done like I've never done drugs in my life I just never never I just never wanted to do them it wasn't a big deal for me and so maybe that's helped too I'm 62. It will be 63 this September. My attitude is f it all. Yeah, exactly. That, that's that's been the biggest thing. Is 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 just you know, fast food is fast food is not good for you. Period. And I try and and I haven't really had any fast food now for a while. Thank God. I think that's the wolf there. It had my arrow in him. Yep. He, there there's my arrow. Nice. Got my ear. Thank you, Mr. Wolf, for dying up here. You know, it's just, you know, faces. I hung around with people that did a lot of drugs. I, it never interested me that much. Um, they they would offer me drugs. I mean, I, I was just like, nah, I'm good. They were like, cool, more for us. So, you know, the whole, the whole, uh, the whole peer pressure thing to do drugs, I never, I never found that to be a very very uh accurate thing but whatever i'm sure for some people it was probably harder but i i didn't i i i'm a, i'm in some ways i'm a hard person to pressure into doing things because if you tell me to do something i i usually am like nah i'm good <laughs> <laughs> uh, i smoked a joint once never felt the need to repeat it Though my triple brush with bladder cancer has made a touch more considerate of things and more thoughtful. Oh yeah. Well, you know, you know, that's the thing, Ramoin. The older we get, the more we kind of like you know, it definitely it definitely I have looked 
Ever since I hit 50, I've definitely kind of taken a different look at life. Yeah, but see, that's the thing. Beginning of 2023, I stopped smoking cigars. I stopped drinking. I think I've had one vodka cranberry in the last year and now four months. And that's what I did. I was, it was a special occasion. I was going out with a friend for her birthday. And I was like, okay, I'll, I'll, I'll have one drink. And of course, and of course, I felt like crap for like the next two days because of that one freaking drink. I was like, okay, well, this is why I don't drink anymore. I felt like crap for like two stinking days because of one freaking vodka cranberry. I was like, really? Really? I can't even. Have, I can't have. I can't just have one. I'm the same ass. The more someone tries to pressure me, the more I dig my heels. And yeah, I just. I, it's more principle. At that point, for me, Mrs. Honeypot, it's just the principle of, no, don't tell me what I can or can't do. <laughs> I'm a very in individualistic person that way. I mean, now, I will try to talk people into doing stuff that I like to do. Yeah, I think we killed off the wolves. It looked like the wolves here were respawning, but I think we killed them off, so pretty happy about that. I do at some point need to go in and get like a physical done. Need to get a physical and just kind of have the doctor give me a thumbs up or thumbs down. The doctor will be like, ah, yes, you're going to die, sir. And I'm like, yeah, we're all going to die. Someday. Not today, though. There is the exit. Well, no, actually, the exit out is that away. No one gets out of life alive. Yeah, that's true, Miss Sunnypot. It's all. It's gonna. It's gonna all get. It's gonna get us all one day. Dun, 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 dun. The nice thing about going to the gym now is I got my uh, I got my headphones for my for my for my phone so I can listen I can listen to my music and I can rock out while I'm while I'm working out that helps a lot. You get that heavy mute that heavy rock music going gets you all pumped up. Yeah, because we're here to pump you up. Deck McDonald and Deck Monalds. I don't think they do that anymore. General Health uh, MOT. I, I don't know. I, I just need to go in and get a. Um, I just need to go in and get just, like a, just a general physical. I haven't had. I haven't had. Well, I'm very fortunate that that my family has very good a history of like like physical health and stuff. I haven't seen an actual, I mean, I haven't actually had a doctor doctor appointment in probably, I mean, I went in for my viral pneumonia earlier this year, but I think before that, I mean, I haven't, I haven't been like in a doctor's office for like probably 25, 30 years. Just don't need it most of the time. All right. We got that there. Let's, uh, let's grab all the stuff in there. Carry this load for much I know, I know. Just take it easy. Take it easy, buddy. Let's repair the Travoy. All right, there we go. All right. All right, all right, all right. Yeah, my knife needs some work, but that's okay. We're, it's gonna be fine. It's gonna be fine. All right, let's see what we got here. Oh wow, we have a ton of gr we have a ton of the wow. Do we re we really have that many deer hides? <laughs> wow. Okay. I guess I can just repair my deer skin clothing, even though it probably doesn't even need it. We might as well. It's like, why not? I mean. 
We've got the extra deer hides at this point. Rock out with your jock out. Whoa, the family doctor won't check you for things here. They may they may do a blood sample, but they won't check women for cancer. You have to go to a, a gynae. Yeah, I just I just need to find a good uh, general practitioner here and have him give me have him give me the once over. Have him give me the old uh, how's your father? I have a fish tip up. I haven't been able to do anything with. Okay, I have two hacksaws. I'm gonna leave one of those hacksaws here. Wow, we've got a lot of stuff on us. I want the pry bar. We've got two torches. I can leave those here. Good Lord. What do you do when you just have too much stuff to carry around with you? That got us down to 63 kilos. <laughs> Where do I carry most of my weight? Yeah, it's, it's mostly my belly. Uh, my 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 whole family, my whole family has pot bellies. My whole my family gets the pot belly issues. So, yeah, but it's mo it's mostly in the belly, is where I carry the weight, and and the face a little bit too. Not so much the face these days though. I used to carry it a lot more in my face than I do now. I don't know what changed, but. Yeah, mo most mostly right, right in the old, right in the old bellies where I carry all my, carry all my love weight. <laughs> Which usually isn't a problem, but you know. Oh, I do have the sure footing on, so we'll uh, switch to that. All right, we're gonna get some rest and stuff. Your face makes you think you're about 160 max. Oh God, I, I have not been under 200 since I was like 18. I think it's been at least, at least 30 plus years since I've been under two. Talking so much talk tones your face up. Maybe it does. I don't know. Maybe it does tone the face up. It makes your face look fresh, fresh and thin. And it makes all the weight go right down to your belly. All right, let's figure out what we're gonna do with this weight now. I've got way too much on me. Okay, the bearskin coats are good. I think, I think we are gonna leave. As much as I sort of wanna take some of this stuff with me, I just can't afford to do it. We already have a backup bow. I'm gonna leave that here. Yeah, stop, stop whining. Stop whining, Will. You're good. We do have that one rabbit pie, so we could start walking with that instead. I've got all these T's here, too. And a lot of those actually are point ones. There is a bunch of those that are large. I do have a lot of coal on me, too. And I've got some sticks on me as well. Now the coal, I'm a little more reluctant to drop a bunch of that, but we'll drop some of it here. Okay, that put us under weight. Okay, I don't have any water left, but that's okay. All right, let's wait till sun comes up. Woo, and we're getting out of this zone, baby. We're getting outy. All right, let's get our get our sleep. I have not ever struggled with weight too much. I can stand to lose a few pounds, but I feel pretty damn good for my age. I do to be I do try to be proactive. Yeah, see, I that and that's the thing for me is I've never really struggled with weight. But then again, you know, growing up out out in the sort of country area, we were doing a lot, we always were doing lots of work on the farm. We were always staying physically active. We were always, you know, doing stuff. 
And so it wasn't really like we had, we didn't have, you know, we were always riding our bicycles. We were always walking and running everywhere. We, we never really had an opportunity, you know, back in the day, we didn't have screens that we could sit in front of all the time, except for like televisions. We didn't, we didn't have all the screens that we have that, you know, kids today have. Okay. Let's eat that. Keep my meat pie on me. See if we got any, uh, nope, got nothing in there. Yeah, you know, staying active, I think, is one of those things that a lot of people just kind of do not. They just kind of take it for granted until they don't do it anymore. I know I did. I mean, I, I was always active, and so I never thought of, like, really working out, working out, or anything like that, because I was just all always kind of inherently on the go. I'm going to leave a few feathers here. Like, I'm going to leave most of them. I'm going to take, like, 21 feathers with me. I'm still looking for stuff just to kind of get, get down my carry weight. I'm going to leave those rabbit hides here, too. Scrap metal I'm going to leave here. Actually, you know, one thing I could do real quick. Here's the depression. Uh, meds didn't help my weight. Glad I was able to migrate another way. I'm glad you were two faces. I'm glad, you know, a lot of, a lot of times medication is, is like a nice thing because it can really help you out. But, man, it can mess you up in a lot of different ways, too. I mean, like, like with, like, you know, like with your weight where, you know, the meds were helping with the depression probably, but then they were affecting your weight as well, which then kind of makes you a little depressed that you're overweight. And then it, it kind of spy, it can, it can spiral as well. I mean, I, I've been there too, where I just kind of like lose my, lose my motivation. <laughs> kids today only have them. If you provide them, reduce the number of the kids. And kids will start finding stuff to do just a matter of harnessing their activity efficiently. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. If you if you can get kids out there and doing stuff, I mean, that's the best That's the best thing for them. Is getting them out there, getting them doing activities, having fun. That bird is almost cured. I'm going to take it with me. All right. Let's go. If it's not foggy out. God dang it, why does it have to be so foggy out? All right, there we go. Now it's not foggy out. Yay. All right, let's go. Like I said before, let's go. How many arrows do I have still? I got one more, so... Yep, we've got... We've, we've lost three arrows to the zone. That's not, honestly, that's not bad for Blackrock. There's three arrows out in Blackrock somewhere that the wolves ran away with and I never found. And that's really not bad for this zone. I've come out of this zone way worse than that before. Yeah, to walk out with 18 of my 21 arrows, I'm very happy about. See them actually physically communicating? Oh, no, not that. You wouldn't want them doing that, Ramoin. <laughs> it is unusual these days, that is for sure. I mean, and, and I'm going to say I'm guilty of it, too. I, I'm not, you know, throwing stones and, you know, living in a glass house. I, you know, I, I'm, I'm guilty of it, too. So I'm speaking because I am one of those that can do that very easily. That's why when I'm around people that I want to spend time with, I, I usually have my phone on silent. I put it away. So it's not there. I'm not looking at it. Because I am, I am just as guilty of, of getting into that bad habit. Sometimes there's a wolf over here. We got to be very careful.
Will does get plenty of uh, plenty of exercise. Will gets a lot of exercise chasing the arrows down, Kenneth, for sure. Endless keepers paths, yay! <laughs> well, well, take it. Uh, I don't know if I'll go into keepers paths with the uh, on endless mode, but we'll see. Not smoochy cooing. <laughs> Not smoochy. I like the smoochy coup, though. Nothing wrong with a little smoochy coup here and there. You could hook up your walking and running to a to a treadmill for long dark. <laughs> I someone saw someone stop in the middle of the road to check their phone. Quiet road, but like, why? Yeah, exactly. Oh, Keeper's Pass North and South's not your favorite? Yeah, I'm not a big fan of them either myself, to be completely honest. I can't feel my feet. Truly. Really, game? Really. There we go. Keepers Pass North is right in front of us now. Oh, you've been this cold in your life, Will. Trust me, you have. Hey, we're actually warm in here. That's nice for a change. Saw someone do that at a zebra crossing. They jumped when the horn blared from a vehicle. <laughs> Serves them right. I have very little patience for people with no situational awareness. People without situational awareness, I have very, very little patience for. It's like, come on. I wonder if this will map this up. Oh, there we go. Why is there a dead doggo here? Huh. That's interesting. It wasn't even fully frozen. That's kind of strange. doggo down here. Loper Day, 187, just finished Buried Echoes for the first time. Zone of Contamination is actually a great region. It is pretty fun. I mean, I quite enjoyed Zone of Contamination for what it was. God, I hate, I hate this doggo here. I'm always worried he's going to hit one of these hills and, like, go in some weird area. I have a smartphone, but when I go anywhere, it's in my pocket, not hand. I look at it if it's on a bus or a train or a tube, and then he, even then momentarily. Yeah, I try to limit as much as I can, Ramoyne. I mean, I do have to be on my phone for, like, you know, streaming stuff and you know looking at youtube and getting videos posted and stuff like that a lot of that i can do on the computer as well but i do have to do some of that stuff uh you know on my phone too so i sort of have to use it a little bit for that but 
I try to stay off it as much as I can. De definitely, there's never a moment in my day that I'm like, ooh, I gotta post this up. You know, it's like, it's like anything I do on, on, online is very deliberate, thought through, and no, it's not like a spur of the moment thing for me at all. Alright, then we'll go back and we'll map that area where the doggo is. Alright, let's leave let's leave some stuff here. here actually you know what we could have done i keep forgetting about this you deploy the travoy and then everything you want to everything you want you just put inside that it's like your temporary instead of just dropping stuff on the ground you just put your stuff in here as a temporary storage unit makes it super easy to like store things like all these flares that 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 let's put our let's put our uh our good bow in there. Let's get the torches out. Let's put those in there. Let's put all those in there. Oh, you're fine. You're fine, buddy. Trust me. You're perfectly okay. There we go. Came back from HRV getting Moosehide Satchel and found out in Milton that I had no shoes on. Don't ask me how that happened. <laughs> you know, sometimes, you know, take it. I've had moments where I found I had no pants on. Now that's extremely awkward. That's an extremely awkward moment. So, it happens. It does it does definitely cut down on wet uh wet shoes though. So, you know. The best thing Will didn't complain. <laughs> Maybe Will likes having frostbitten niblets. He's like, it didn't bother me at all. Hey, Hernan, how you doing? Let's see how it looks 500 days on the long dark. Well, you know, we've pretty much mapped up everything in the game at this point. There's another flare gun for us. Now, on lower difficulty levels, that could actually be a flare gun with some shells, which is actually pretty dang cool. Let's get a fire started here, and then I'll then I'll show you what show you what we've mapped up so far because it's pretty it's pretty damn impressive if I say so myself. I say so myself. All right, let's get that going. Throw a couple pieces of coal on there. Get a couple sticks on there. There we go. So, so far, we've mapped pretty much every zone in the game. There's our map of Black Rock. It's pretty decent. We've got Forsaken Airfield, Transfer Pass, Far Range Branch Line, Broken Railroad. There's a nice one to Hush River Valley, Mountain Town, Bleak Inlet, Ash Canyon, Timberwolf Mountain, Pleasant Valley, Winding River, Forlorn Muskeg, Mystery Lake, The Ravine, Coastal Highway, Crumbling Highway, Desolation Point, and now we're in Keeper's Pass North. And we got Keeper's Pass North and South, and we have 
zone of contamination still to map we've got signal void almost done we just have to go back to the uh forsaken airfield for that and then buried echoes is the only one that we still have to do really Really, game? You're gonna do this to me. I get to know your channel thanks to a video on Timberwolf Mountain Start. They're really nice. Keep it up. Oh, hey, thanks, man. I appreciate it. Well, speaking of bad places to get stuck down here, yeah, that's a thing. Well, that sucks. A boo. And then we will return to our endless night. Uh, endless night will return tomorrow. And uh, it will be every Tuesday, Friday, and Sunday for the endless night run. And then Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays will be this run here so we'll be basically every other day that we stream long dark we'll be doing one run or the other that way none of them get left out so you gotta go grandmother g have a great one we'll see you later on my dear drop these coffees here too oh this is gonna be fun we can't we can't even map in this seriously game seriously gonna pull this crap on me huh Ugh. all right let's go was not expecting a blizzard to come out of nowhere and smack us like that I was hoping that we could at least get somewhere down the line before that happened. Let's put our climbers back on. Oh, that sucks hard. I'm looking forward to see mapping the zone of contamination. Uh, yeah, I did that on one of my other runs and it's not, it's not particularly bad. Um, but it's not particularly easy either. <laughs> there's definitely some, there's definitely some tricks to it. For sure. I got sticks and stuff on me. That's okay. Well, well, well. All this gear is slowing me down. Shh. It's gonna be fine, my friend. It's gonna be fine. Every little thing's gonna be all right. Put those in there. That'll keep that'll keep them warm a little bit longer. 
Yep, there we go. First time climbing down this rope, it started a blizzard once I reached the bottom. With no more stamina and only two pieces of coal. Oh, jeez. Jeez Louise. Yeah, this is gonna be a this is gonna be a tough road to hoe to try to get out of here. I'm almost thinking of just going back into going back into Blackrock real quick. This is not this just is not very this is not very good for our situation at all. So yeah, I'm thinking Black Rock is probably the best best route for us at this point. Cause I, I want to map this, and I can't really map it with the storm blowing us over every second. Yeah, but see, the thing is, then I'd have to backtrack and come back here to map. That's the problem. So I think I think instead we'll backtrack back into Black Rock, and hopefully tomorrow, when we come back in, we can go ahead and uh, we can go ahead and just map all the way through. Hey, Daniel, one 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 zero. How you doing, buddy? I hope I put enough ones in there. Okay, this is a different kind of blizzard. Very odd. The blizzard here and the blizzard there are definitely not the same thing. Oh, now it's an Aurora. There's a there's a wolf down here. And he's an Aurora wolf too. Like, what are the odds, you know? What are the odds? I'm nervous now. But you know what I think we're going to do? Since we got this, since we got this, this could be a good thing. We're going to risk it. We're going to be a little risky. Going to risk it for the biscuit. We're going to go back to the prison. We're gonna go back to the prison. We're gonna fix up our knife and our hatchet before we get out of this zone. The 
we'll we'll see we'll see we'll see what happens. We'll see if we'll see if we can do it. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you die. Um, I don't die as much as I I don't die as much as I used to. I used to die a bunch. He doesn't make the game look easy. He just fears death. And hi, Mrs. Pac-Man. How you doing? Much quieter wildlife and keepers pass north. Oh, geez, Louise. These guys aren't afraid of flares either. Could be bad. Oh, hey -oh! Suck it, Timber Wolves. Woo! Oh, jeez. Yeah, I got my pulse rate up. Just a little bit. Well, that could have gone horribly wrong very quickly Just catch and play in the first couple days of a run in the search for fire. I've seen several of those fail Long haul doesn't really start until day three. Yeah Day three day three to five Air I, I count everything pre pre bow and arrow as early game and an early game You can make an early game 30 days long if you want to I mean, like, the, the run we're doing right now in Endless Night, we've only been alive five days. We're actually, he we, we, got the, we got the hacksaw and the bedroll. Those are, like, the two most important pieces of equipment you can get early game. Because the bedroll allows you to sleep anywhere you want. The hacksaw lets you chop down birch and maple so you can get, you know, stuff going. And it allows you to harvest corpses as well. So if you, like, chase a deer into a wolf, you can harvest that corpse up. All that good stuff. So it makes it very nice to harvest those frozen corpses with. Um, so, yeah, we got like the two biggest things. So right now on our Endless Night run, we are in Milton. And we're going to be going to Hush River Valley. So Hush River Valley is like my next goal for the run. Which I'm super stoked about. Because Hush River Valley is a gold mine. Plus, we've already been to the forge in Forsaken Airfield, or in Forlorn Muskeg, and we left four coal there. We found a ski jacket and a Mackinac jacket at the forge. So, we now we got, now we, and, and once we go to For, uh, Hush River Valley, we'll have double Mackinac jackets, which is awesome. And by the way, everybody, happy April. It's now April. Can you believe that? We're already through March and into April. I don't know where the time went to, but damn. I've not had any auroras on the endless night yet, no. Jeez. 
sure is purdy out here. Hypothermia risk is pretty high. But on the mapping, how many Aurors have I gone through? Oh, quite a few. I, I actually don't know how many Aurors we've actually gone through on this on this run. I do need to get warmed up here, though. The bow is now broken, which is great because I can now throw it away. Bye bye, bow. And I can break this arrow down real quick. You can try sleeping for an hour. Just to get a little just get a little warmth. Can't turn on the car heater? No, no car heater, unfortunately. No car heaters for us. Do I have any small T's? I don't think so. Or any large T's. Nope, I don't have any large T's. All right, I'm just going to drink these down real quick. I have a full thing. I know, I got no radio either, which kind of sucks. Kind of, kind of, kind of makes me a little bit sad. Worst abandoned vehicle ever. I know. I should. I should write a letter. I should write a, a letter of complaint, Zylock. I want to speak to their manager. <laughs> you get copyrighted on YouTube for radio music. I've never had a problem with the, like the classic. I've never had a problem with that. On the. I mean, I think it's so soft in my game that it doesn't really matter. But I've never had a problem with it myself. Now, maybe if you were, like, standing right next to it and you were just letting it play, maybe? I don't know. I decided, you know what, we have the Aurora. We might as well get this knife and hatchet all patched up. I think if you play more than 30 seconds of it, probably. Well, and a lot of it's just stuff that might get flagged. Uh, a lot of it, you know. I mean, I have, I have videos sometimes, Joe, that have been on YouTube for like five years. And then, then just out of the blue, there's some copyright claim on it. And I'm like, okay, well, where's it? Where, you know, it's been on here for five years. It's not, it's not like getting any views at this point anyway. So, okay, copyright claim it. I, I don't care. Like, whatever. Copyright claim the, the no views that I'm getting on this old video. My, my biggest complaint is they just make the copyright thing way too easy to abuse. Because because it's the onus is on the person the person who is being claimed against. So the person not the not the person who's claiming, not the copyright claimant, 
but the person who is whose video is being claimed it's on the onus is on them to put up a defense for why their video should not be copyright claimed which is just that's just kind of goofy in my opinion in my opinion it should be the other way around the person the person who's doing the copyright claiming is is the person who should explain why the video you know why the video is is worthy of having you know it was worth is why it's worthy of doing that but that's not the way youtube works <laughs> YouTube, I think, just errs on the side of caution and goes, hey, if somebody files a claim against a video, that person has to fight it. All right, let's get some sleep here. Yep, you got, you're guilty until you try to prove yourself innocent. Which also is hard, Kenneth, because they will give you a clip of what... They'll tell you what it's being claimed for. They'll say, oh, this is the this is the video that is claiming against your video. And then they'll give you a clip. They'll tell you the time that that is in your video. And it's up to you to try to fight it. And sometimes the time that they give you has no relation to the clip that they are claiming is in your video. And it also, it also, uh, um, it also makes it very easy for like, uh, there was a brief moment in time where, um, some, some nut job was basically upload. He uploaded a bunch of the music from, uh, from the, uh, medieval dynasty game. He uploaded a bunch of medieval dynasty music to a channel. He just made a channel and uploaded medieval dynasty music to it, made different names for it. But he uploaded the tracks to Medieval Dynasty, and then he started copyright claiming all the Medieval Dynasty uh, uh, content that was on YouTube. So he basically just went through and claimed all these videos to the point where Medieval Dynasty actually sent out a letter to... They put a letter on Steam, I think it was, saying, we realize this is going on. We own the rights to that music, and we would never copyright claim anybody on it. Please bear with us. We're working with our attorneys to get this situated and taken care of. And eventually that person's channel was taken that channel was taken down and gotten rid of. But it was just it was just an it, you know, it was just annoying because it's like really. Oh yeah, no, I to I totally get it, Joe. I I mean I I, I don't have I I just think I just I just wish it was policed a little bit better. But you know, YouTube takes the stance that we better be safe. We're better safe than sorry. I mean, I get I get stuff on my channel all the time. If I go in on my channel and I look and see, you know, uh, if I go to the copyright tab, it's like oh. Somebody's uh um somebody's using this material um uh you know from Red Dead Redemption 2 that matches your material and it's like well yeah but that's not it's just they're they're just playing the game they aren't stealing they aren't doing anything for my channel it's like okay whatever I just highly recommend people that if you ever want to use somebody's stuff from their channel on your stuff just ask. Most, I mean, most people are going to be pretty nice about it. They'll be like, yeah, just give me credit or, you know, talk about it. I mean, you know, as long, you know, if, if you're doing something other than like fair use where you're actually like reviewing somebody's video or, you know, doing an analysis of it or something like that, you know, if you're just, if you're just like putting pieces of it in there, it's always good to ask them or at least give them credit in the, in the comments, you know, in the description or something like that. I'm never, I'm never for the, I, I, I hate the, the react, non-react channels, the, the react channels that don't really react, they just kind of sit there and they watch it and they're like, oh, that's cool, oh, that's funny, huh, I like that, you know, those kind of, those kind of like, 
Uh, the ones where you, uh, the ones that are just like really bland reactions. It's always frustrating watching those. I have most people ask, but I've had a few that pretend to be doing doing reviews, but most of it is just my video. Yeah, well, and see, to me, to me, Joe King, I always I always go to the extreme. You know, I'm like, okay, if you have a if you're doing a review. Yeah, you can watch a minute or two of the video, but then you better stop. If you're going to watch a mi basically whatever the video is, your review video needs to be at least twice the length of the actual real video. And you need to have frequent pauses in the review. You know, while you're reviewing it, you need to frequently pause it and go over stuff immediately in it. Instead of just like watching the whole video, then doing a whole review. You need to be watching the video and doing the review at the same time. And, and for me, it's like the perfect example of that is, is a group like uh, 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 Every Frame a Pause, the EFAP uh, guys, Mauler, Fringy, and 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 uh, and uh, um, Rags, where they literally pause like every they'll pause like every five seconds and t you know talk about something for like 15 minutes. They'll turn a half hour video into like a three hour review. <laughs> you know, it's like, that's how crazy they go. I don't say you have to do that big, but I definitely recommend that if you're gonna do a review video of somebody else's work, you need to make your video at least twice as long as the original, if not longer. And give it lots of breaks, lots of review commentary, because then you're actually transforming it. The, the, main thing I don't, the main thing I don't want people to do, Joe King, is be able to just watch the review video and never have any incentive to go watch your original video. A good review video will actually make people go, oh, I want to go watch, I'm, I'm curious about that. I want to go watch that video now and see see it in its entirety, see it all, you know, put together without any, you know, breaks in it. And that's what a good review can do, is it can encourage people to, like, go watch that video, and then they have stuff in their mind already about it because they've seen a review of it, and they can be like, oh, I see what they were talking about there. I see how that fits together. But yeah, the 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 lazy react channels are very uh lazy. <laughs> YouTube would let me copyright it, but I chose against it because it might bring me new viewers. And she did put my link in. Yeah, and, and that's the thing. Giving credit, making it an actual transformative review. You know, both of those things is very important in making, making the video unique and new and creative and not an exact, you know, copy pasta of the original video from your channel. But like, you know, I've had, I've had, you know, Zach, Style Zach has asked multiple times, you know, if he can use link, you know, if he can use clips of my, you know, of my content on his channel when he makes like a compilation video of, you know, long, dark, uh, you know, cool shots or neat saves or whatever he does. Because Style Zach does a lot of that. And I told Style Zach, you know, I basically told him carte blanche. He could just, he could just... He can just use whatever he wants of mine, you know. He can just he can just go ahead and use my stuff and and put it in his videos if he's doing a compilation video. I have no problem with that, you know. But that's, you know, that's a unique, that's a person to person type thing, you know. He's a cool dude and he, you know, he asked, you know, and that, and that's something that that I that I really respect is that, you know, and and honestly, I wouldn't have been mad even if he hadn't asked, but it's cool that he did. Hey, Teresa, hello, hello. But others are doing it, not even linking the video. Yeah. Yep. And, and it's important. Link the video, make sure you give proper credit. Um, all that sort of stuff is very important. But good Monday to you. Happy, happy April 1st. It's April Fool's Day. It's April Fool's Day. I only use ass videos on my online dating profile. Well, that's totally okay, Z uh, uh, Zylock. That's totally okay. You're, you're, you you just, you're on your dating profile, you like, I'm this big-time streamer, Athenon. There's my picture. Come see it, ladies. 
Come see it, ladies. There's my pick. <laughs> I give you permission to do that. That's totally fine. Don't worry about it. Believe me, based on past performance, Zylock, you ain't gonna get it. You ain't gonna get a lot of action off that. I'm just saying. You love those compilation videos from Zach? I do too. It's, it's great. I mean, he gets he gets uh, uh, one and only, one only, and um, he, he get he gets all sort. Of, he gets me. He gets a whole bunch of other long dark uh, streamers, big and small, <coughs> and puts in cool shots or or neat advice or interesting things. Style Zach's got good, he's, he does a lot of good stuff. So seeking someone to eat old canned peaches with a uh, with a uh, with on remote Cana uh, with on a on a remote Canadian island hey you know that may that may work you know you know miss Pac-Man that may be the new dating profile I put out there yeah I have one guy that reviews my videos regularly and I say to him anytime he's got he got me a lot of exposure but he does it he, he does it with me live on stream yards now when I make new videos yeah exactly that's that's the thing Joe is like those are the kind see that's the thing I always look at is that you know content creation is a lot about the relationships we make with other content creators like my relationship with Hadrian my relationship with Style Zach you know where it's you know we talk about each other we sort of rub each other's backs and we we give each other a little bit of a little bit of exposure to each other and and it, it's those it's those relationships you build that really uh that really can boost not only their channel, but your channel as well. So it, it's never a bad thing, you know, to like try to try to, uh, um, it's never a bad thing to build those relationships. Even if you don't agree with them on stuff, it's fine. I mean, that's the human, that's the human condition. Very, very few of us are going to agree with each other on everything. All right, let's get this fire started if we can. Yeah, but, uh, bah, 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 bah. but no, that's really cool, Joe, that, that he does that with you. Oh my god, seriously? Was I was I seriously I was seriously standing in the fire. Wow. I lit the fire and I was standing right in it. That is hilarious. Damn it. That is hilarious. I was standing in my fire. <laughs> oh boy, some some days, folks, I tell you. Some days you just can't win for losing. Make sure to take the pain pills, not one of the uh, the 87.01 T's in my thermos. <laughs> yeah, it seems like it seems like just the pain. Yeah, well, the pain pills are all gone now. That 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 whole that whole bottle of pain pills just got swallowed. That whole that whole since they're zero, I was able to utilize them for my my. Uh, are there but they they all got swallowed in one in one fell swoop which is totally fine i've got lots i've got lots of pain pills there we go beautiful yeah it, it's it's weird it's weird how they work like like you can take the yeah i, I could take the antibiotics from here i probably what i could do it's like I could drop most of them and then it would just use up the one, but that's probably what I would have to do to get rid of them like that. This gear is starting to slow me down. Oh, that's weird. Dropping them like that actually broke them into separate things. Oh, that's wild. Oh, 
Oh, that is so weird. <laughs> that is so weird. Oh my god. Now they're all in twos. <laughs> Alrighty then. I do need to make a little bit of water. That is funny. And now I'm too heavy. Of course I am. Probably because all that meat I got. Yep. Okay, my friend. All gonna be okay. Let's get it. Let's get our little bit of little bit of a uh, little bit of charcoal there. There we go. There we go. We got the charcoal, so we're doing good now. I don't care if we're a little heavy. We're gonna grab even a few more sticks going out of here. Cause why not? But yeah, the pills are heavier than the teas, for sure. I just like carrying them around because they're 0%. I'm like, yeah, hey, that's cool. But Zylock, yeah, my, my dating profile with the Twitch streamer on there would be very interesting. Believe me, you don't get a lot of you don't get a lot of action off of off of an ad like that though. Trust me. Dun, 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 dun. I wonder if we can get the bridge on this side. I like that. That that was nice. No running on this bridge, boys and girls. I always feel so nervous about stopping on this bridge. I don't know what it is. These bridges just these bridges make me just clench up like crazy. Especially those open spots like that. Those open spots there really make me clench up. Alright, take it. Have a good one. We'll see you later. The headline is, come scratch my Twitch. A picture of you in your Subnautica hat. That alone would get him knocking down the door. Yes, anybody who, anybody, Zylock, who is familiar with Love Boat would be knocking down the doors. I usually carry four pain pills, four, two antibiotics mainly, and then collect the teas to replace them. Drop random pills for moose areas and antibiotics in your base. Not a bad way to go. I mean, honestly, the antibiotics weigh what? Well, actually, these are weighing even less now, 0 0.03. So they do weigh a little bit more, but not as not very much. 
And of course, we're walking into the wind, which is always a great way to go in this, in this game. Walking into the wind always is awesome. Soon we'll be walking away from the wind, though, so that's good. Dun, 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 dun. I know, I know you are, Will. You're very cold. You're cold, you're tired, you're hungry. All those things. We will survive them. We get up to this little top here, and then we're going to map again, and then we'll go over to the little broken down house here, and we'll map again. I see sticks. Stick and a stick and a stick and a stick and a stick and more sticks over there, but I can't pick those up because I can't move very fast. Hey, Amir, thank you for the uh, sub on the, or a membership on the YouTube side. Appreciate that, or the sub on the YouTube side. Thanks for subbing, Amir. Subs, memberships, subs are like follows on YouTube. If you sub on YouTube, it's like a follow on Twitch. A membership on YouTube is like subscribing on Twitch. I know, they got all they got all the wacky language going on. Hey, Yumiko, how are you? Hello, hello. Welcome on in. I hope you're having a great day. Hope your day is fantastic. We'll grab the cat tails as we go, because why not? It's free food for us. And our chances of coming back this way are kind of slim at this point. We are very, very heavy right now. Um, one thing we could do, I didn't even think about, one thing we could do, because we got it. That's that's much better. I like that a lot better. That's that makes life way easier. Let's just move way quicker than that slow slog we had before. I was traveling about this speed when a bear came out of nowhere and ended and hit in my run. Freaking bears. Yeah, those freaking bears, I tell you. Mm -hmm. 
Double sticks. Nice. Almost caught up on the VOD of the new run you started yesterday. Fun to see a new one getting going. Oh, yeah. And, and basically, Megan, from now on, and for everybody else as well, so we got two runs going right now. We have our Endless Night um, Gunloper run, and we have the regular run that we're doing here. Uh, this this one here that we've been doing for a few months. Um, and uh, so we're going to be doing... Um, the Endless Night one, though, is going to be done every other... Basically, we're doing them every other day. So every other day will be Endless Night or the 500-day-plus run, the mapping run. So Mondays... It's on the schedule below, but Mondays, Thursdays, and Saturdays are the regular run. And then Endless Night will be on, on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Let's see. What do we got here? Where's my, where's my... Where's my... Oh, I put my thermoses in there, didn't I? Yeah, let's get our thermoses out real quick. Might there we go. Gear. Oh, Shushabai, you're fine. Transfer all those in. Okay. So, let's get our thermoses here. That's the herbal tea. That one actually, I think I actually I think I will take one of those because I'll drink that tonight. And then get a few of those out as well. Let's drop the herbal. Actually, you know what we could do? Get all the birch bark out. you don't you're fine any idea if and when we can buy merch like the jackrabbit flask wool 2 coffee mug from interland not a clue they they've said that they're gonna do some more like merchandise stuff but they've not really laid out ari when they're going to do it which is kind of sad because I, I'd, re I'd really like to see some too I would love to see some. Hi, Mom! How are you? Yes, I'm going to be streaming a lot. The day's been good so far. I've been up since, like, 11.30 yesterday. <laughs> oh, no, it burned one of my teas. I thought, I, I thought I'd moved all of them. Gosh dang it. That makes me sad. That makes me sad, Mom. But yes, uh, it's been it's been a busy day. I went out driving this morning for about seven hours, and then I hit the gym after that for about an hour, and then came home and streamed for a while. So it's been a very very busy day. But everybody say hi to my mom. Yes, that is that is actually my mom. A the mom is actually my mom. She comes, she comes by from time to time to keep an eye on things. Okay, can you, can you go out, please? There we go, so I can grab, at least grab the charcoal. Hadrian has a new series, a new video, it looks like. Ooh! Ooh, I'm gonna have to check that out. Let's see what he's got. Let's see what he's got on tap. Oh, 
there's a dead deer here. Interesting. The house is right up here, though, so we're gonna... Oh, no! That's starting to weigh me down. Everybody go check out Hadrian's channel there. I just threw up the link in Twitch. Ow, that hurt. Well, Mom, I hope you have a wonderful day. Enjoy the beautiful weather outside. It's supposed to be absolutely gorgeous today. I'm going to put Hadrian's channel up in the YouTube side as well for those... For those, uh, those of you who don't know who Hadrian is. Hadrian taught every, uh, asked everything he knows about subjugating Romans. Yeah, I guess. I mean, you know. I guess he kind of did. I'm gonna go check out what he's what he's got going on on his channel right now. What's his newest video he just put out? Against all odds, episode 50. Woo! He just he just got out the episode 50 six minutes ago. That is awesome. Awesome possum. All right, let's get this wood stove going. We're pretty much gonna burn most of our wood in here. I'm not. I'm not sad about it though at all. Yep, he just put out a brand new video. Come on, come on. Hey, look, there's a piece of cedar there. That's nice. Let's go ahead and put a piece of coal in there, and then throw every single stick we have in there. There we go. That should keep us warm through the night. Uh, let's go ahead and eat a little bit of cattails. Once we get back to Pleasant Valley, we'll be fine. We just got to get back to Pleasant Valley. Keepers Pass North and South are just, they're just they're just they aren't horrible zones, but especially since we're trying to map them, it's gonna take us a little while to get through them, unfortunately. The good news is we don't even have to use our bedroll here because there's a bedroll right here. There we go. Well, at least you're home so when you get really tired you can safely make it from where you are to a place to sleep. Yes, I'm Athenon's mom and so blessed to, blessed to be so. Hello everyone tuning in. I wake, I walked a half an hour, saw the neighborhood coyote and I'm sitting here at my computer. So the coyote's just bold as bold as brass coming out there. Like sandpaper. The coyote's just bold as brass just comes right out there and is like, hello everybody. What a what a what a nice coyote. Oh, that actually like cleared up a lot of stuff here. Okay. Let's go ahead and get some water boiled here. Still got four hours in the fire. What do we got out here? There's a birch behind the house. We'll grab that. Another birch over here. We'll grab that. A couple mushrooms, a few sticks. I wouldn't want to try to survive in this zone, but you can definitely, you know... Get through it. He was walking across the front yard, but I ran. But ran when I yelled at him. You say coyote, I say pug smuggling operation. <laughs> yeah, the coyote coyotes are right down in there in the neighborhood. That's like right in town too. That's just wild. I still, I still say, Mom, you should just do the three S's: shoot, shovel, and shut up. Nobody will notice. Just wait till, just wait till some fireworks go off one night. Just make sure the fireworks are going off, and just, bing, you got them. I thought of a question watching your last stream of this run. 
Since you got to over 500 days, when were you closest to death and what day was that? Jeez, I would have to look back, Victorian. I mean, we've had a few close shaves with this run, but honestly, I can't remember when I was closest to death. We've had a couple, we've had a couple of close moments with this run though, for sure. Feels like a lot of gear. I mean, you can just look at our health when it goes up and down. Cause honestly, I can't, I can't, I don't, I just don't remember. It looks like the first, it looks like the first, uh, like month we were pretty good. First month we were pretty good. And yes, we've had, we've had the, uh, oh, it looks like we must've got, we must either got hit by something. Oh, we were in Ash Canyon. We got hit by something here. Probably weather, I would guess. And then on day 51, we also took a pounding down to like 49%. One of those days had like eight injuries. Yeah, those could just be sprains I took as well. Yeah, like day 51, we had three injuries. That could have been, that could have been like a wolf or something. Yeah, I was probably, I was probably goading. Well, sometimes it's just, it's just you get sprains and every time you get a sprain, like there's, there's six injuries in those two days there. So day 78, we were in Timberwolf Mountain in the deer clearing and by the engine there. So, I mean, that could have been, I don't know what that could have been. Oh, we had, uh, we had, uh, um, oh, I know why we were losing health there. We had uh, full blown scurvy in those, in those six days. That would definitely, or no, we had, we had scurvy here. Okay. We had scurvy there and then we got rid of it on that day. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't think we've been, like, super close to death on this run. I mean, as you can see, there's some days we've gone down into the 40s, the 50s. There's a, there's a 32 in Bleak Inlet. That may, that may have been, like, wolves or cold or something. So, yeah, there, I, I don't think we've had, like, really super close calls. But, yeah, that Bleak Inlet, that was, I think, that was the lowest I've seen. But I do like to goat, Zylocke. I do like to goat. Don't get me wrong. My goating is legendary. I'm the legendary. I'm the goat. The, the literal goat. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead. Actually, you know what? Let's get a... Let's drink the whole thing, cause who cares? But yeah, I, um, it looks it looks like it looks like thirty two was about the lowest we got, and that may have been a combination of timber wolves and the cold. I know you know Bleak Inlet. Bleak Inlet's one of those zones where you can take a lot of damage from the cold very quickly if you're traveling around anywhere. Forsaken Airfield's the same. Well, in Black Rock, there are two places for the moose. There's the, uh, there's up here by the, the Black Bricklayer's Retreat, and then you got the one right over by the prison. Those are the two that I have. We're 57 kilos, huh? That's interesting. I think what we will do is we will drop our Travoy. 
There we go. Actually, everything in here I can just dump into there. There we go. Good storage. I remember one time you go to down and nearly died, took a stem and jumped down again with the only, with only a fraction of health left. Left, God, I was biting my nails. I've done that a couple times. Yep, my computer crashed when it appeared near trappers. Killed it, went to quarter, and the game closed out on me. Oh, no! The moose in the moose in Coastal Highway can only be by the garage, yeah. There's no, there's nowhere else that that, that that moose spawns except by the garage. And Desolation Point, he can only spawn by the bridge there. Oh, on the P it was on the PS5. Oh, that sucks, Fire Monkey Rob. Nothing worse than having something cra having it crash on you, and you don't have a you don't have a good save point. So yeah, if you're in Coastal and you're looking for the moose, that's the only place he can spawn. But beware if you're there and you're like harvesting the moose up. Be very careful because the moose can also be. Uh, his, his partner, the bear, can be there as well. And then you can get in some big trouble if he is. Because the bear likes to wander around that spot too. And make a nuisance of himself. While you're harvesting the moose. Moose Bear LLC, yeah. They are kind of in business with each other, uh, RA, for sure. I got the 3% in Ice Cave and HRV. The Bugger Wolf ignored my torch and attacked me twice. Still wondering how I survived. That is a good question. I don't know how I don't know how you survived that, Victorian. That should have probably done you in. You got very, very lucky on that. So in, in Forsaken Airfield, there's a moose that spawns. There's a moose in Forsaken Airfield that spawns like up in this area. Right around Drift Island. I've seen, I killed him over on this side, but I guess he spawns over here too. I don't know if he has another, another spawn point. Oh, there's no space. Great. All this gear is slowing me down. I don't know if there's another spot he spawns or not, but I know he does spawn there. I have like two pieces of charcoal left. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to travel back to the Forester's Hermitage. Hermitage! Uh, let's go ahead and throw down the Travoy on this side. We need to find some place to escape this cold. Oh, we'll find some place to escape it. Don't you, don't you fret. Don't you worry your pretty little head there, buddy. Uh, let's transfer those back over. Transfer the oil in. Yeah, I know you are. It's going to be okay, buddy. Trust me. Trust me on this one. We'll we'll we'll, we'll be uh, it's going to be all right. Every little thing's going to be all right. All right. Let's head back this way. Hello, rabbits. How are you? Nope, that was a little overshot. A little overshot again. There we go. The first one I hit from a long distance, and then I can't hit one that's like literally right in front of me. <laughs> the one that's right in front of me is like, nah. 
The stuff that's coming right at you or going away from you is actually pretty easy to hit. You just have to judge the distance, the angle, and, and boom, you shoot them. The stuff that's closer to you, that's going... Uh, the, the stuff that's closer to you, going left to right, is not too hard to hit. If it's going right to left, it actually is extremely hard to hit them. When it's going from right to left. Hey, look, we got some rabbit meat. Yum. Hello, rabbity. All right, let's harvest up the other rabbit. But yeah, if they're going from left to right, it's pretty easy to get them because they they move into your arrow. If they're going right to left, the problem is that your bow is covering up part of where they're going to, you know, your bow when you draw it is covering up that right to left angle. But left to right, you can track them in. And of course, if they're going straight away from you or straight towards you, it's way easier to hit them then. What's my plan after Keepers? We're going to be going back to uh, uh, the airfield and getting the um, getting signal void done. And then we're going to go to Zone of Contamination and work on the, uh, the, the uh, Buried Echoes quest. And get Zone of Contamination uh, 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 mapped up because we need that. All right, I'm just going to take some... I know, I know. I'm taking torches to get rid of the get get this fire down. If we sleep two hours, that should take most of the time off the fire. If not all of it. Perfect. Oh, that's beautiful. How much charcoal? Oh, that's... That's beautiful! Yes! Give me that charcoal. Ooh, give me some more sticks, too. I like that. Woo! Let's go! And I can eat that food, too. Yum, 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 yum. Eat those rabbity bits. So, yeah, after we get done... After we get done with Keepers Pass North and South, we're heading to, uh... Forsaken Airfield, and then Zone of Contamination after that. So that's sort of the long-term plan for this guy. And then once we get Zone of Contamination done, we're probably going to wrap up with this guy, and we'll we'll play him a little bit. We'll probably cut him down to maybe one or two days uh, a week at most, and we'll just be trying to get him to like a thousand days. Because I've never, I've never ever got a character to a thousand days. So that'd be kind of fun. Uh, let's throw some of this charcoal in there. There we go. I want to see this guy going to a thousand. I would like to with him. It just, it's just more than anything, Victorian. It's not that we probably can't get to it. It's just, I don't know how, I don't know how interesting that content's going to be. <laughs> there's not, there's not a lot that happens, you know, that you can really do in those thousand days. That's that exciting. It gets a little bit boring at that point. And that and that's my main concern is like, you know, doing what we're doing now, we actually oh, we actually have a purpose. We actually have a goal. Really? I can't I can't get the Trevoy in there at all. Seriously. 
I can barely walk with this much gear. He's not a gear 50 day McKenzie. Yeah, he's not. He's not either of those guys. That's for sure. He has a place in my heart too, though. That rock looks like it's ready to fall right there, but I guess it's I guess it's held up on two sides. So cold. I know you are, buddy. Unfortunately, you have to do the slow walk out of here, dude. You got too much stuff on you now. You loaded up. We loaded up a little too uh, greedily and a little too, uh, a little too greedy, a little too deep there. It's okay. It's 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 all gonna be it's all gonna be fine, everybody. It's gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be okie dokie. It's a long, this is just a long walk. Uh, I like watching Long Dark just for the love of the game. Doesn't have to be exciting for me. I just love the game. Well, yeah, and, and you know, Jordo, when we're doing the thousand day thing, it'll more be, it'll more just be... You know, I'll be playing, just kind of answering questions, and we'll see how far we can get. It's not like we're going to have any, like... There's not going to be a lot of interesting gameplay, you know, like, interesting gameplay going on, because most of the... most of, We'll have everything kind of mapped out at that point, and uh, there won't be a lot of stuff happening. It's dusk. So it's definitely going to be interesting. I've ne I mean, usually the longer runs I've had, I've just kind of like made them my go into the new zone and die just to figure out stuff in the new zone type runs. <laughs> but we aren't going to do with the, that with this guy. Still not the... Yeah, exactly. It's still not the most exciting thing for a stream. But... Like, you know, it doesn't have to be. We'll be doing our Endless Night run. We got our Endless Night gun loper coming on. I'm excited about that. That's that's going to be... That's going to be pretty stressful no matter what we're doing. The Endless Night gun loper is going to be pretty wild. We do have... We do have a pistol now, which is great. We only have like 12 shots, but that's okay. And I forgot with Endless Night, it's going to be hard to make the bows and arrows because you don't get crows. You'll find a few feathers around corpses, but it's going to be very limited. So I don't think I don't think I can map any longer, can I? Oh, I can. Interesting. All right. I didn't, I, well, I guess it is still a little bit, it's just a teensy bit light out still. I know, it's it's hard to get into my head, Victorian, that I can't sleep till morning. It's like, oh, there is no morning, never mind. <laughs> never mind, we can't sleep till morning. Yeah, no Maglin's fires either. You can't do, so, you can't, you have to, if you want to craft or read or do anything indoors, you have to build a fire. So the outdoor crafting benches are more important than ever. Um, and living in a cave is probably is, is important as well. Because cave living is where you can get most of your stuff done. We gotta be. We gotta be getting close here, right? <laughs> we gotta be. 
Got we got we got to be getting close to the old uh, the old cave up here, right? Somewhere, maybe. So one thing about Keepers Pass North that's just such a pain in the ass is that big long walk. Pretty sure the cave's right up here. Oh man, that hypothermia is coming on quick though. I just gotta pass these sticks. I'm already way overweight. Way, 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 way overweight. Yeah, we're at 79% hypothermic right now. Well, the interesting thing we did on our on our endless night challenge as well is we took the dark walker uh, feat, which yeah, it makes it so we don't get tired as quick during the nighttime. But the downside of that is we don't get tired very quickly, and so if we get injured, usually the way you get your health back once you're injured is you rest and you get your health back. Well, we don't have that option. We don't have that option as easily, I should say. We can still do that, but it's not as easy to get our health back because, um, yeah, stuff, things, stuff. All right, so what we're gonna do is we are going to... pop ourselves a... couple birch bark teas. Bring these down. There we go. Let's just go ahead and pass some time. I mean, I could pop a, a prepper's pie, but those are my last two prepper's pies. I, I, I don't think I have any burdock root left in the game at this point. Maybe there might be some burdock root in ash can or in uh, zone of contamination, but I've got, I believe, every burdock root from every zone at this point. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna use those if I don't have to. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to transfer that out. Drink a cup of herbal tea. Which will give me better rest for six hours. Fill up on water. We're only going to sleep for about four to five hours or six, six to eight hours, I should guess. All right, we yeah, we didn't even sleep six hours, so. Okay. What, we got 63 kilos of stuff on us right now. That, that drops a lot right there. I should have dropped these. I'm gonna drop these just to cure for the moment because we're gonna go outside for a second. Harvest that up. Oh, I also have all the charcoal on me now, too. I grabbed a whole bunch of charcoal. 
Wow, I'm still super heavy. Jeez Louise, man. Good lord. Alright, there we go. Finally. Alright, there we go. So there, there's... That's, see, that's the path you have to take. You gotta go all the way here. Go across the bridge. Wind around here. Wind around there. Get to the Forester's, uh, the forester's Hermitage. And you have to walk all the way down here. And then come up here to get to the cave system. It's a long, convoluted mess to get out of there. Keeper's Pass North is annoying. <laughs> it's, a lot, it's a lot of walking. It's a lot of yap, way yapping and mapping with Old Man River. Carry this load for much longer. All right. Puts us way overweight, but that's okay. I like coming to Black Rock this way the best. It does get you very it does get you into the zone in a very in a good spot. I mean, both of them have advantages. If you come in through Timberwolf, you're very close to the Bricklayer's uh, place. And there's matches there always. And you can usually find some good gear and possibly the Moose spawn. If you come in from this side, you're very close to the... Uh, you're very close to the uh, uh, old substation. And you have a very pretty, pretty clear path to the, the prison itself. Uh, if you come in from this way, you have you have a couple buildings right nearby, and then you can go down to the river, go up and do the, the prospect area pretty quick. So I mean, there's kind of positives and negatives to each one. Um, I I kind of I don't come to Black Rock very often at all. So for me, I don't really I don't really have one preference over the other as far as what way I like to come into it. But you get some wolf action in KPS. I don't know what KPS is. Kills per second? Keeper's Pass South. Oh, Keeper, Keeper's Pass South. I got it. It's Keeper's Pass South. You do get that wolf action. That is true. See, I figured it out all on my, I figured that out all on my own, Victorian. I was, I was smart that way. Oh, wait. Hold on a second. I got a text. Oh, that was my mom. That was my mom. She was... She was... She butt-texted me, basically. You ever been butt-texted by your mom? An uncomfortable thing. Where's the good stuff? I guess that's good stuff. Oh, is this, that's blocked. Okay. Interesting. I'm getting good at the new kid lingo. Yes, I am. Them whippersnappers, they think they got one up on me, but they don't got one up on me. <laughs> I'm getting into their lingo now. I always watch on the phone. Ty typing is not easy. Kilt per Scotsman. Hey, you know. Kilt per Scotsman is always a good one there, Kane. I would totally buy that, to be honest. I would, I probably would just go, oh yeah, that, that, that sounds right. Freedom! <laughs> Let's shake our, shake our bums at him and flip the kilts up. That was not a scene from Braveheart. I could, I could go without seeing that scene in Braveheart ever again. And I'd be okay. I would be totally fine if I never saw that scene again. Hey, it's a candy bar. Yeah, 
They may take our lives, but they'll never take our freedom! Braveheart was a good movie. It was an interesting movie. Not a very historically accurate movie, but it was an interesting movie. From what I've seen, anyway. From the people who've, who've reviewed it and gone, yeah... This wasn't real realistic, but it was, it was, you know, it's, it, most movies like that are, that are based on real events usually aren't very realistic just because, you know, cinema, cinema, you have, you have to, you have to exaggerate and make things work right. For some reason, I think you left that candy bar for future me. I've never been in this cave before. I have never been in for say in Keepers Pass North or South on this run. So maybe on a different run I put it there for myself, but I have never been in here. Yep, not not on this run. This is my first time through. Yeah, I never came to Black Rock, and I never came to Keeper's Pass North or South. This is my first pass at both of them. I mean, we did spend... Um... Do -do 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 -do. Where's Black Rock? Is Black Rock even on here? Yeah, there's Black Rock. We spent 33 days mapping Black Rock. <clears throat> so we spent a little bit of time mapping Black Rock up. Hey, there's a deer in here. The wolf that messed me on uh, Keeper's Pass North was on another run, probably. All right, let's drop some sticks. I got three cedar now. Yeah, that, that was probably on a different run. Because on this run, we came into uh, Black Rock via the uh, Timberwolf Mountain entrance. And there was a wolf. When we did come into uh, when we did come into the zone, there was a wolf that got us. There was a wolf that messed us up a little bit, but... Um, yeah. But it wasn't it wasn't that wolf. Okay, let's see where's my travoy. There it is. Deploy that. Thank you. Did I not pick oh no, I picked them up. Okay. Like, did I not pick those up? Do, 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 put that in there. There we go. Oh, and, and we'll put all the, uh, put all that in there too. <clears throat> and we'll put that in there as well. Wow, we have a lot of oil. And a lot of flares and some boom cans and that and that. There we go. Woo! Let's go! <laughs> so you found a candy bar in a post office box the other day. 3K hours of searching letter boxes. Well spent. I think that's three I've ever found in post office boxes. Yeah. Every I mean it's worth looking because there is a there is a chance. There is a chance that you can get them. The chances, it, it's it's super tiny. I mean, the odds of you getting a candy bar in a post office in, in a in a post box is very 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 low. I think in the six K hours I've been playing this game, I've maybe found a half dozen at most, and a lot of those were <clears throat> a lot of those were like long time ago. I haven't found any recently at all that I can think of. 
Next up, finding something in a fuel cap. I don't think that's gonna happen. <laughs> that would be worth an achievement on Steam. <laughs> the, the, the the postal mayhem achievement. Find 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 a can find three candy bars in post office in post boxes. That would be a great achievement. Really? Seriously? Yeah, I can't map now. <clears throat> I went inside, came back outside, and it was like, nah. Hey, bad boy gamer, how you doing? Still sick for at least two days. But you got a new game yesterday. Nice. What game did you pick up? What game did you pick up, my friend? Hopefully a good one. Ooh. Man, oh man, I am I am definitely gonna sleep well tonight. Under a new sun. I don't know what that one is. I uh, I don't I don't know what that one is. By the way, Planet Crafter is gonna be um Planet Crafter is going to be officially released on the 10th. On the 10th. Oh, it kind of it kind of gives me vibes of uh kind of gives me vibes of um of Escape the Pacific a little bit. Except that you have a robot. <laughs> if there's a robot I would put it on my wish list. I'll check it out. I'll get. I'll get. I'll give her a peek. Give her a peek at some point. Let's go. Speaking of giving it a peek, let's peek outside. There we go. All right, there we are. Let's get her bow out. How many burdock around do you think is in the game? Then less than less than fifty. Oh yeah, quite a bit less than fifty. Hey John, how's it going? Yeah, I'd say I'd say at most there's probably like twenty to thirty at most. So yeah, I'd say there's definitely less than fifty. Okay, that wolf. Oh, jeez. That took that wolf took two arrows and just sucked him up. That wolf was obviously glitched because he just he just he took the arrows like a champ and was like no. He was like hell's no, you ain't touching me, son. It's similar to Stranded Deep, but uh, much different than Stranded Deep. Okay. I'm doing good, other than the nasty wolfy boys. The nasty, nasty boys. I wonder if you can put... I wonder if you can cut holes in this ice. Jesus Criminy. So cold. Never felt so cold in my life. Well, that didn't work. And now I have hypothermia. Well, that was that was fun. <laughs> and all my clothing's wet. I wonder if I can drop any of this gear. Alright, let's go. Let's get into the cabin. <laughs> Whoopsie! Whoopsie Daisy! Probably should get my bow out just in case anyway. 
Did not expect that. I do. I was not thinking it was going to be wet. I thought there was going to be a bank over there that I could jump on. And, uh, and, and be safe. But no. The game said no. No safety for you, sir. Why don't you just cook the wolf and the deer? Uh, cause, cause, uh, Everything I do now is going to make me get exhausted way quicker than I usually do. So I need to go and get rid of my get rid of my coldness as fast as I get rid of this hypothermia. Wizard with the 24 2 year resub Thank you for that 24 month resub there. Woo! Let's go! Wizard 23 just resubscribed for 24 months. Oh, it's actually not that far to the cabin over here. The cabin's actually pretty close. Thank you, Wizard, for that 24 months, my friend. I hope you're having a great day. Um, let's see if I can get a... Uh... Shout out there for Wizad. How are you doing, Wizad? I, ho I hope you're having a good one, man. I thought that would give you... I, I thought that would give you... A Whoa, hold on, hold on, hold on. Got an enemy incoming. Now he's a unicorn. And we got frostbite coming on too because we got no clothes on. I ain't got no clothes on. We are kind of naked and afraid right now, boys and girls. I'm not going to lie. I've done a lot smarter things than what I just did there. <laughs> now the good news is here's here's the good here's the good news. Oh, I don't have my my fuel and stuff on me. All right, let's grab everything off of there. Grab that. Oh, can I not move? I can't move. Okay, let's get the uh, let's get the uh, coal on there. Get some reclaimed wood. Another cedar. Okay. Drop all our clothing here. Get another coal on here. Now let's get another cedar on there. Feels like something is sapping my energy. Wow. Wow. All right, everything's just kind of wet right now. That's okay. That's all right. It's all right. It's okay. Uh, I think we are, I think we are now going to sacrifice a prepper's pie. Because that'll give us 25 health back. Just bam. Just like that. Now see we got we got a bunch of our health back. So that's great. I'm going to drink my last herbal tea. Yeah that, that really that really hosed me. I'm going to drink my last birch bark as well. Oh hold on one second boys and girls.
I'm gonna have to leave something behind. Hold on one second, guys. I just got, I got a call from somebody and I need to, I need to take it. So hold on one, hold on to your horses for one second. I don't know what the, I don't know what the hell happened there. That was so weird. All right, sorry about that, boys and girls. That was that was so weird. It's like it just cut out right in the middle stuff. All right, so let's see. Where's our clothing and stuff at right now? Okay, clothing and stuff's in good shape. We got we got ourselves healed up a little bit. Let's go ahead. Okay, so we drank those. We drank that. Let's drink a little water. My God, falling in that water was like the worst thing that could ever happen to us. I'm not a very happy camper about that. But hey, at least we can map right here. Hey, look at that. We got a nice big map there. Yay. And we are really super tired. That's okay, though. Let's throw some more of these sticks on there. Get a nice big stick fire going. But how you doing, corn dog? How's it going, buddy? There we go. All right. I need to drop some. All right. We should be able to put our clothing back on and have it dry out while we're out here now, because they fix since they fix that problem. Okay. It looks like a lot of it dried out already. Good lord. <laughs> Good lord. Oh, I, my water. I, I had water going. I forgot. Forgot I had water going there. Gosh darn it. My water just all evaporated. Whoopsie. See, doing everything, my, my energy just disappears. All right, that's going to have a lot of a lot of fire left in it, so that's going to be good. It's pretty easy to get over hypothermia. If you have food, water, and a place to sleep, it's not hard to get over hypothermia because... Every action you do when you have hypothermia just exhausts you. You get you get exhausted so quickly when you have hypothermia. So I still rock out the two wool sweaters and the, ho the hockey jersey's a bit heavier. I know I wear the hockey jersey, Joe King, just because it's the hockey jersey. We, we you know, to weigh me down. It's you know, it's just it's it's one of those things where I I just wear it because you know it's the hockey jersey. You got you got to wear the Canadian hockey jersey, you know. It's a, it's a Canadian pride thing. Not that I'm Canadian, but you know, it's one of them Canadian pride type of things. So, all right, we'll eat that down to thirty-five. We'll drink some of our water. Something's making me feel real. We'll get another tired. ten hours of sleep. Thank you. 
Is the hot liquid in the thermos stay hot after being drunk like that? Uh, it, being drunk like how, uh, uh Megan? Uh, I'm so, I'm sorry, I missed, I'm sorry, I missed your question there. Uh, uh, being drunk like how? Oh, okay. I just need to remain above freezing for zero hours. That should probably do it right here. Oh, dunked in the cold water. I don't know. I I don't know if the I don't know if the thermos actually would retain the heat or not. I'm definitely not going to try it again. <laughs> I'm not going to go jump in the water just to just to see if it does. But that is an interesting question. We got rid of our hypothermia, which is great. Feels like a lot of gear. All right, there's that. Hey, April, how's it going? It's it's going good here. We're we're doing good. So we finally are in Keepers Pass South. Well, we actually got a toque. Why did it map that? I don't. I don't know why it mapped here. That's weird. I I dunked myself and got hypothermia, which was hilarious. Everybody laughed. We all had a good time. I didn't think it was that funny, but chat thought it was damn funny. And I have a wolf out there that has two arrows in it, so I two arrows in him, so I need to go find that wolf. Cause he kind of disappeared on me. Someone's stash. Someone's stash. Someone's stash, boys and girls. They're mustachio. Alright, let's go see if we can... Let's go see if we can find El Wolfie Boy. We call him El Wolfer. El Wolfer. Yeah, you know, it was just... It was one of them things where... Big dummy here... Got on thin ice and then just ran to even more thin ice and fell in the water. What are you going to do, you know? You can't fix stupid. I'll just put it that way. You can't fix stupid. Now, I think there is a... Isn't there a fishing hut down here somewhere? Yeah, there's a fishing hut down there. There is an actual fishing hut down there. I'm curious to go check that out because I've never actually been... I, I don't I don't know if I've ever gone to that fishing hut specifically. Right, there's the crows there. I know those are there. El Wolfie boy. El Wolfers, where are you? Stash of two cloth is nice for this zone. It's not a bad stash for interloper, especially for going to Black Rock. Oh yeah, yeah. I mean, a stash of two cloth is nice. No, yeah. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not making fun of that. I just. I just love his zoo. Someone stash. <laughs> sort of like the. Uh, Do you like my stash? Hey, where'd the other wolf go? That's that's what I'm curious about. And where did the other wolfie go? The one that has my freaking arrows. Funny if I lost two arrows in this zone when I only lost three in Black Rock, but I lose. It'd be funny if I just lost two arrows in this zone due to due to a, due to a, a stinky wolf, due to a stinky boy wolf. 
Chewy with a 51 month resub. Be easy, guys. Thank you, Chewy, for that 51 months. Oh my god. 51 years. I mean months. For 51 months. Thanks for the show headed to the wife's tattoo act. It's her first one of her Navy service. Oh nice! Very nice. Well, I hope she enjoys it. <laughs> I hope it goes well. There's no infections or anything, you know, all that bad stuff that can happen sometimes. Uh but no, I hope I hope that I hope that goes well for her. So what is um uh, what is what is she what is she getting as a tattoo? Is it just like the uh, the navy symbol or oh I'm a wimp too. That's why I've never got a tattoo. It's not it's not. I mean I'm not I'm not like against them morally or anything. I just I'm too much of a I'm too much of a wuss. I I would I I don't like needles and I don't like that. I don't even like the set you know like the sound of the drill at the dentist just makes me go crazy. That knee and I've heard I've heard tattoo needles and I'm like nope. I'm good. I'm like, nope. Don't I'm I'm not not do not doing it. It's getting her three swallows, one for 5k, another for 10k. Uh uh NM at sea, then a third for sailing around the world on a ship. Nice! That's awesome, Chewy. Well, not only do I hope she has a good time getting her tattoos, but also if you could for me, thank her for her service. Um, very much for all of our military members. Thank you very much for your service. I wonder if there's anything in these trucks over here. I've never honestly even looked. I don't, I don't know if there is. There might be. Or they may just be squished. No, I think they're just squished. Nope, nothing over there. Oh wait, 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 wait. We're up here. There's a wolf right. There's a wolf carcass right there. That's my. That's my wolf. That's my wolf. There he is, right there. That's that's the wolf that has our two arrows in him. Oh, let's go get him. Let's go get that little beggar. You dirty little beggar. Actually, you know what I could do in here? I could just map in here. I don't. I don't know if. Yeah, I got the vehicle. Well, that that is really cool. She's commissioning as a warrant officer here in June. That's awesome. Oh, that's awesome, Chewie. I I never I never knew that. That is really that is really cool. I almost went into the Navy. Okay, where's the where's the other arrow, bud? Where's my, where's my other arrow? Huh? Huh? You gave me one of my arrows back. Where's the other one? You little turd. I almost went into the Navy when I was 18. I decided against it. Wasn't I? I, I just wasn't cut out for it. At 18, six years of my life seemed like a lot to give up. You know, when you're 18 and it's like, man, I won't be out until I'm 24. You know, I, that, at that point I was like, uh, no. Oh, they wanted me bad though. They were chomping at the bit, man. They wanted to, they wanted to send me off to school and then they wanted me to go and be on a, a nuclear sub or a, a nuclear uh, aircraft carrier. They were all excited. And I was kind of excited about it too, but... You know, honestly though, if I had done it... I think I've said this before, but honestly, Chewie, if I had done it, I probably would have gone career. I probably would still be... I probably would be retiring from there now.
I wanted to serve, so I did the Navy because my grandfather said, boy, if you join the service, go Navy. You'll have warm food and a clean bed to sleep in every night. What, you don't have that in the Army and the Marines? What about the Air Force? The Air Force probably has that, too. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe. All right. Well, boys and girls, we are going to wrap this one up here today. Now, tomorrow... We are going to be playing our Endless Night Gun Loper because we're doing every other day. We're switching back and forth every other day on these. So tomorrow is Endless Gun Endless Night Gun Loper. Um, we're going to be stopping the YouTube stream here in just a second. And we'll be restarting in just a moment with some Stellars. We're going to be continuing our Toxoid Knights of the Toxic God series. Um, we have about 100 years. We're in the final chapter of the, of the game. We have about 100... Just over a hundred years left in Stellaris to go. And it's going to get really spicy really soon. There's going to be a crisis, most likely. We're probably going to get giants in the playground happening where the fallen empires awaken and go to battle and go to war and cause havoc across the universe, which is always fun. The L gates, as far as I know, the L gates have still not been opened. Um, I do not have any L gates in my systems, so I don't really have access to the L gates. But, um, so yeah, we're going to be playing some Stellaris for a few hours today, and then I, I got to get to bed. I'm, I am drooping already, but I'm going to, I'm going to at least get through three hours of Stellaris here. But YouTube side, thank you so much for coming by today. We did, like I said, we'll be doing some more of the Endless Night tomorrow. And we're just going to go get a little save point here and uh, we'll uh, turn off the YouTube for a minute, but then we'll turn it back on. We'll get going on YouTube again once we get Stellaris fired up uh, because that'll be a separate vid over there. All right, so YouTubers, bye-bye for now. Thank you so much for coming by. All right.